Hello, Internet. It is 8.02 p.m. Eastern Time. It is Saturday night, May the 23rd, 2020. And we are back live on the Internet by way of Twitch as Super Art Fight, the greatest live art competition in the known universe, is back at you as we continue on our never-ending off-season. It's Super Art Fight Neo. My name's Marty Day, and it's an honor and a pleasure to be with you here tonight. Uh, it's a very exciting, unique evening for us here. Uh, we've been doing the Super Art Fight Neo bit for a number of weeks now, as we found ourselves, like many live events, unable to perform on live stages. And our favorite live stage is that of the Auto Bar. So tonight is special in two very important ways. One, you will see the crowning of the first ever Super Art Fight Pixel Weight Champion. That's a title that's going to be defended directly on this show. Also, the, this entire evening is all about supporting and donating to the Auto Bar, our home in Baltimore, Maryland. We are incredibly excited and delighted that you chose to spend your evening with us. We've got a great show planned for you. It's not all going to be doom and gloom and sadness, uh, but I'm not going to be the only one hosting it. I would like to turn it over to my dear friend, my brother from another mother, my colleague, Mr. Ross Nova. Ross, how you doing tonight, bud? Oh, Marty, it is so good to talk to you. It is so good to be here. Uh, you know, uh, when we were unable to perform, it was real rough. You know, I mean, there was counseling, some drugs were taken, but uh, really there's no substitute for the real thing, which is why I'm so happy that we get to be here. We get to have our artists together. We get to be here with our fans that we love. We get to introduce Art Fight to a new audience of people all over the world. And not only that, but we get to support our home away from home, the auto bar. I miss it so much. I miss its dirty floors, uh, its dirty ceilings, and its extremely dirty artwork on the walls. <laughs> and now let's, speaking of dirty artwork, let's get this show going. Well, 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 before we, we get the ball rolling, uh, we actually do have a very wonderful video message from the owner of the auto bar that we'd like to roll. Producer Steve, could you please play that video now? Hi everyone, Tecla from the Auto Bar here. I just want to say on behalf of the entire Auto Bar staff, a huge thank you to the Super Art Fight crew for your generosity and your support over the past 10 years. To the creators, the artists, the participants, the hosts, the casual participants, and the super fans, a serious and amazing heartfelt thank you to all of you for your support. I am super privileged when I say that it is really an honor to be a part of such a tremendous creative community. And Super Art Fight, you guys are a creative juggernaut there. So I just want to say again, for the millionth time, thank you. Also, where are we? What are we doing right now? Things are kind of crazy, right? Independent venues like ours all across the country have shuttered. And while we were amongst some of the first businesses to close, we're likely to be some of the last to open. So in the meantime, we're trying to bring about some new changes, but still offering amazing and original creative content right to you into the comfort of your own home. So stay tuned, see what we've got going on in the future. And I hope that you all are staying safe sane and healthy and i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but i've always wanted to three two one art fight <laughs> sorry i had to do it all right oh uh, also to the artists may the pixels ever be in your favor and to the baron von sexyful you know who you are Enjoy the ride, guys. Bye. All right. Thank you so much to Tecla from the Auto Bar for putting together such a kind message. <clears throat> we really do love that venue. And 
and uh, at, at least speaking for me, I've been going to shows at the Autobar since 2002. So that's 18 years of my life I have spent <clears throat> going to that venue. So we're really excited to do this show, to support them. But more than that, we're going to have a great time. We're going to have a lot of fun. We've got a full evening of Art Fight Entertainment planned for you. And some of you might be brand new to us. I, I know the Auto Bar was pushing this show and, and that sort of thing. So to explain what Where exactly- Where the heck you been, man? Yeah, <laughs> fair point. Well, to explain exactly what's gonna happen, Ross, my dear friend, take it away. What, who are we? What's happening? What's going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, everybody else, what you're about to see are three epic bouts of art fight action. In each bout of Super Art Fight, we will have two artists. They will be drawing on the same canvas at the same time. They will each have a starting topic at the end of the time limit. The audience, you watching right now, unless you're watching this later, get to choose live who is going to be the winner of each match. Again, unless you're watching this at a later date. So <laughs> how does all that work? Well, we're, this is gonna be a poll in the chat. We'll have more info on that later as it comes up. But if all that wasn't crazy enough, we throw a little wrench in the gears and that is something we like to call the wheel of death. That's right, the wheel of death is full of topics submitted by you, our audience, via our website, superartfight.com. Don't rush there right now because we've already gotten those topics compiled for today's show. But for future shows, feel free to go there, check it out, add those topics because every five minutes during the bout, our artists can re-spin the wheel and put and whatever they were drawing now has to get stopped so they can now draw whatever that new thing is. And you might wonder, what are those things? Well, we're gonna find out in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Marty, back to you. Thank you, Ross. Uh, as, as Ross has laid it out for you, tonight's show is wacky, wild, fun, ridiculous. Like we said, this is all about supporting the auto bar. So you will see uh, throughout the stream, some notes about places you can go to donate directly to the auto bar. Uh, the primary site that we're pushing people to is bit.ly slash support auto bar that has auto bar merch and ways you can donate directly to the staff. But we've also put together a truly kick ass auto bar t shirt, Super Art Fight X Auto Bar. All of the proceeds go directly to auto bar and staff. That's bit.ly slash SAF X Auto Bar. If you go to either one of those links right now, you can pick up shirts, you can pick up swag, or you can give a donation. Uh, according to a, 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 a chat I was just passed along, we've already raised $715 before the show's even started for the auto bar, not including anything people have done on the auto bar site proper. That's just from our shirts direct. So it's really exciting. It's really cool. And we're going to be talking about that all night long. But really, let's get to the key of why we're here, folks. Let's get to some super art fight action. With that in mind, let's roll on into bout number one. This opening contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 one minute fall. <laughs> with a 20 minute time limit. And it is a qualifier match for the Pixel Weight Championship. I would like to bring to the digital stage first. She is a former super art fight champion. She is a former Super Art Fight Tag Team Champion, and she is Darkama Czar of Kindness. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, be kind. This is Red Erin. Erin, we've been over Aaron, this. You gotta speak up. Yeah, you gotta, you, you gotta be a bit more bombastic. You gotta get- Hello. There we go. <laughs> I'm very, very happy to be here. I promise only the cleanliness of art. Clean leanest? What? Is that like the cleanliest? I, I, I... May, maybe. It's okay. digital. I assume it's all very crisp. Well, Red Aaron, you, you've held Super Art Fight Championship Gold before. If you win this match, you will find yourself in the finals at the end of the show tonight going one on one with Baron Von Sexy Full. How are you feeling? You excited? You nervous? You, you focused, what's going through your head right now? Oh my gosh. So super nervous, but um, the beautiful pixelated belt is very, very shiny and I would like it very much. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately you can't take a nap with this one yet. As we know, you used to take the, the, the art fight <laughs> belt to bed with you, but we'll see what happens post pandemic. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a physical belt. Nevertheless, you face a challenger here tonight that you have some serious history with 
This man, also a former Super Hard Fight Tag Champion, also a former Super Hard Fight Champion, and I think it's early enough in the evening, he may only be one and a half drinks in. It's time to party, folks, as this is Two Drink Alex! Whoa! Ring-a-ding-ding-dong, Ross and Marty. Cheers to you both. <laughs> oh, what you drinking in there, Alex? Why, this is a dirty gin martini. Three olives, uh, a lot of olive juice, and uh, no questions asked. <laughs> Can you confirm if that is drink one, two, one and a half? Where are you right now? Mm, I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you also have some serious history with Baron Von Sexy Fool and Red Aaron. Uh, how are you feeling heading into tonight? Well, uh, well, Marty, I'm going to take a few drinks and um, see where the night takes me. But uh, I'm not going to give up until I get my hands on that transparent PNG. <laughs> All right, folks. Well... We've got our competitors for the first match, and now I think it's time. Producer Steve, let's throw it to the canvas. Let's take a look at what those starting topics are. God damn, I love those production values. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the starting topics tonight, because we are supporting a Baltimore institution, are Baltimore-themed. So, to drink, Alex, your starting topic will be John Waters right. and Red Aaron. Your starting topic is Edgar Allan Poe. It's the battle of the finest mustaches in Baltimore history. <laughs> so, Ross, are you ready to do this thing? I'm ready. Artists, are you ready to do this thing? Cheers. Wait. All right, audience, audience are, you, are ready? you ready? We we can't hear you. But we can't hear you. Yeah, we sorry. trust that you're de there, that you're there. Throw those emotes out there. We'll see that you're sharing the love. Let's count this down. Three, two, one. Art five. Art five. All right. Taking a look at the canvas there on the left-hand side. Two drink Alex, starting with John Waters. He's drawing in pink like the flamingos. And Red Aaron on the right-hand side. Edgar Allan Poe illustrating in blue. Again, the, the digital format, Ross, it allows us to use some different colors, add some different flair that we didn't necessarily have at the live show because, well, it's a lot cheaper to have all these different colors versus buying countless Sharpie magnets. Yes, that's right. This is what Scott McCloud would call the infinite canvas, Marty. And by that might mean there are infinite ideas that will be drawn into this very limited size and shape. <laughs> and it should come as no surprise especially for those who know to drink Alex, perhaps from his exploits online with the one piece podcast or his, his own podcast, Taro Yaro, uh, very, very much going to the Simpsons. Well, early I to drink Alex. I can't remember the name of his character on the Simpsons. When John waters appeared in, uh, uh on the show. Can, can you, uh, remind me John? Wow. That team really went on a limb there to pick up a name. And, and uh, Ross, what are we seeing on the right-hand side from Red Aaron? Well, it appears we have a very angry heart uh, under... Um, uh, 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 I'm going to guess this is a telltale heart situation. Yeah. Uh, so under some floorboards, I just thought it was maybe a heart troll under a bridge for a second there. Who can forget? But yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some Telltale Heart. Who can forget the the epic moment in the Telltale Heart when the heart just said, "Yo, love it." And of yeah, course well, you know, it's kind of a bro heart. You know, he's like, <laughs> "Hey, yo, I'm trying to sleep down here." It's Tony Danza, and who's the boss? Yeah, Angela. <laughs> I'm down here. They killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind that, this wall. Wait, that's that, a different one. That that's actually how uh, the, it's the cask of Amontillado. That's a totally <laughs> different thing. That that's how the finale of Who's the Boss went, right? They, they killed Tony, yeah. and they buried his heart in the floor. Yeah, and then the whole thing was a dream from the TV show Soap. Fun fact. <laughs> well, we're getting. Two of our strongest offensive maneuvers, I think, in this time of doing the never-ending offseason as we are getting the laser beam from the retro, retro space gun from John, uh, a.k.a. John Waters, who is on The Simpsons, and we are getting 
just a blade to the head of John from the pet of Red Aaron. We say she's the Kamazar of kindness, but she comes to the canvas with a level of rage that you would not know lies beneath when you're talking with her. Yeah, that is uh, a very dangerous guillotine coming from above from... Oh, it's also yelling its catchphrase. Yo! Oh. I can't tell if that makes it like a weird G.I. Joe thing or just they're all from Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't know. I like to assume I like to assume one of each. Uh, there are two <laughs> twins from Brooklyn. They're in G.I. Yeah. Joe. <laughs> one is an anthropomorphized heart and the other is the guillotine. Um, and <laughs> they're yelling their catchphrase. Uh, meanwhile, I don't remember John Waters having a ray gun, but yes. you know, yes, I'm pretty sure that was in the director's cut of Hairspray. <laughs> it so, was. It, uh, I would be remiss if I did po did not point out it was in that specific episode of The Simpsons where John Waters played a guy named John who owned basically uh, a, a kitschy uh, a, a kitschy antique store, much like you would find on the avenue in Hamden, and. Uh, there was a ray gun that he gifted Bart. So uh, I, I got to give Two Drink Alex all the credit in the world. The Simpsons deep cuts are are coming fast and furious. Also coming in is a pink flamingo using a bit of that Pac-Man physics, sliding in from the right-hand side, ducking its head in over into the left. Yeah, that's right. Not only a, a pink flamingo, but a pink flamingo with one eye. That is a Cyclops pink flamingo coming in the top left. Until the first spinning of the wheel. That's less than that now, because I had to yammer on. Two brand oh, new no. topics we have, coming in. We have Reese someone trapped behind in. a wall, also <laughs> yelling their catchphrase. Yo. Yo. All right. The wheel of death is about to spin. Let's find out there's two brand new topics. Toss those wheel of death emotes in the chat, folks. Two drink, Alex. Great news. I am a French fry. Red Aaron, <laughs> you get the littlest kaiju, the best children's book yet to be written. So French fries and kaiju respins for either competitor? No. no. All right. Both artists keeping their topics. Again, for those of you joining us for the first time, each artist gets a respin available to them. If they get a topic that they don't like from the Wheel of Death, they can respin once per bout. So it turns into not only gauging whether or not you have a good topic, bad topic, etc. It also is a decision you have to make about the ongoing stress of the match. When you have another one coming at that 10 minute mark, that five minute mark, do you want to use it early? Do you not want to use it early? It's, it's a lot to consider. Uh, and Ross, what are you seeing on the canvas right now with these brand new topics? Yeah, well, uh, it appears that uh, on the left-hand side, uh, what started as a man trapped behind a wall is now getting turned into, I'm, I, I think, a french fry? <laughs> <laughs> he is so a french fry. You, you literally are what you eat in this case. Uh, still trapped behind a wall, though. Why you yeah. would trap a french fry behind a wall is a little unclear to me. Uh, though, if it is from McDonald's, it will last the test of time. Though, it will stop tasting good after approximately five minutes. So... Uh, meanwhile, the littlest kaiju appearing on the right hand side <laughs> from Red Aaron. And it's the little kaiju that could, everybody. It Aww, is, uh, look at that little and guy. Heartwarming. Not only heartwarming, but knee warming, apparently, as it is taking out that flamingo's kneecap, Tanya Harding style. <laughs> um, which I should mention, uh, flamingos actually very sturdy creatures and could probably take the stand the test of that. Uh, they can actually survive in acidic waters uh, to be frozen, a bunch of other crazy stuff. Um, look it up; it's a fact. Marty, back to you. Wow, I, I didn't know that we'd have a deep dive on flamingos here. But sure enough, we've got them. Uh, now, I, I did want to bring up, uh, again, for those of you who might be new to Twitch or those of you who, because uh, this is our first show having them, don't really know what the emote thing is. So if you subscribe to us here on Twitch, uh, and you can do that for free through Twitch Prime, which is connected to your Amazon Prime account, or you can actually pay to subscribe to us, uh, you gain access 
two emotes, those little graphics that you can just spam away in the chat. We have our first series of emotes. Uh, and what we're going to do, because we're just about halfway through, I'm going to toss it over to the man who's been in there in the chat the whole time. Ref Adam, are you with us, sir? Hello, hello. How is everyone doing tonight? Uh, I, I, we have seen an, an enormous amount of emo love in the chat, especially during your obvious Wheel of Death and 3 one r fight. It is amazing, and it warms my heart to see all of this. Thank you so much. Uh, we have uh, got a, a bunch of stuff going on here. Uh, we had we had the chat pointing out that they are disappointed that we missed the uh, pit in the pendulum reference. With ah, the, the yes. coming down. Yeah, pendulum over there on the left. Fair point. Mm -hmm. Well Literary. said. I'm proving and, myself as a shitty Bottomorian for not <laughs> catching that one. And we also have uh, uh, Scaredy Cat pointing out that the heart is yelling the Baltimore O. And <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that. I, I actually went for the majority of, of my life not realizing that the O thing in the National Anthem wasn't a thing. That, that I didn't realize that that was just a Baltimore thing. Oh, so you went to other places and we're just I went like, to other what? places. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> everyone's like, what? Stop. Yeah, was... what, what, what's happening here? Anyway, back to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ref Adam. He's representing us in the chat all evening long. Uh, thank you, commenters, for telling us that we missed out on that ding dang reference to the pit and the pendulum. And we're about 42 seconds away from the next spinning of the Wheel of Death. Respin still in play. Ross, while we were doing all that bit of business, tell me some exciting things you saw on the canvas. Well, um, <laughs> we've got from the pen of Two Drink Alex right there in the middle, uh, Mothra, uh, the the derpiest Mothra I've ever seen um, <laughs> as it is uh, uh, stepping on a car or something and also shooting at uh, the, the littlest kaiju that could uh, and apparently this is all taking place in, I, I don't know, Paris? <laughs> or Tokyo Tower? Paris is I don't burning! Know. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, wheel oh, and we're spinning spins. that wheel. Oh, snap! My facial hair goes to two drink, Alex! Uh, I'll respin that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to give John Waters a goat tea. Um, gritty Hanna-Barbera for Red Aaron. Greedy? Gritty. Gritty. Gritty, gritty, gritty. gritty. Okay. Yes, as yes. in Grim End. Uh, and two drink, Alex, with his respin, he has questionable charities, which is certainly not this evening. Again, bit.ly slash support auto bar or bit.ly slash SAFX auto bar support our awesome home venue. Literally one of the 10 best venues in America, according to Rolling Stone. And they know what they're talking about. They've been around a long time. They sure do. They must have come to one of our shows, Marty. <laughs> Speaking of people that have come to one of our shows, uh, a quick anecdote. John Waters did once come to approximately 30 seconds of an art fight show. <laughs> that is all true. going on. Turned around, walked it out. Yeah, yeah. He he hung out long enough to basically smell the air. Me and Ross noticed him from the auto bar stage. We did not say anything. And then upon discerning that this was one of the silliest things he's ever seen, nope doubt. He was good. He was good. He had now, his piece. He did he did whisper to me in the crowd, wow, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I, John Waters, say this officially. You can quote me on it. Sign John Waters. But after that, he was gone. Yeah, yeah. He, he just threw a smoke bomb and ninja vanished his way out. It was, it was <laughs> yes, pretty amazing. He's a ninja. Yes. Now, folks, we do want to remind you that you, the fine folks in the Twitch chat, will be able to vote for the winners. We've uh, Now that we are Twitch affiliates, we simplified the whole process for voting. There will be a poll that you just need to uh, vote within to pick the winner to drink Alex or Red Aaron. And again... A reminder that the winner of this match goes on to the main event this evening to face Baron Von Sexyful for the, the first ever Super Art Fight Pixelate Championship. Now, taking a look at the canvas, I, I believe we have a reference to Scientology. Uh, who is that talking about, Xenu, there, Alex? Uh, that's supposed to be John Travolta in the classic uh, Pulp Fiction meme that everybody loves in 2018. <laughs> 2018, you know it was the one where he's looking around. Time. Yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah All right. Cool. 
And it looks like we are getting gritty Muttley on the canvas. Am I seeing that right, Red Aaron? Yeah. All right. About to, to, you know, rip rip this guy to shreds. (laughs) That is a sign of Red Aaron I've never heard. Oh, my gosh. But but only about to. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Get, Walking it back. Real weird. <laughs> clearly, clearly, importance of being a champion has amped up the aggression of Red Aaron, and and we are seeing it take hold on the wheel uh, tonight and on the canvas tonight. We'll see if Red Aaron can pull out the win here. One final spin of that wheel of death coming at the five minute mark. A minute and thirty eight seconds remaining. It looks like Two Drink Alex now attacking the pendulum over on the left hand side. Yeah, that's right. We've got uh, that pendulum turning into a giant Kirby over there on the left. Um, so uh, we've got Alex going going full Nintendo over there. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm, uh, we've got Red Aaron directly below working on adding a mask to John Waters. Um, who exactly is going to be in that mask? We'll find out. I, I believe I he sure. may be turned into Space Ghost. Yeah, you know, I could see it going Space Ghost. I could see it going uh, Blue Falcon. Uh, you know, is she going to stick with that Hanna Barbera thing or just move on to something else? Or is there just a masked uh, Baltimore based vigilante that I'm just not familiar <laughs> with? Marty? Believe it or not, with all the things we've had happen in Baltimore, uh, we have not had a masked vigilante that I am aware of. Um, although, you know what? Now's the time. Uh, let, let, let's get this going. Uh, and now I, I'll be honest, I am actually a little lost on what's coming from the pen of two drink Alex, two drink Alex with 23 seconds in the next spin. What's going on oh, there? He's got, he's going Moltar. Moltar. Yep. Moltar. <laughs> tremendous. We're getting the whole space ghost gang here. <laughs> oh, and we got, coast, coast we got Zorak the back there. Yep. Right there. Uh, with five minutes to go, both our artists using up all that precious Three, canvas space, two, leaving one. very little room left for anything else. Final oh, and we are topics spinning the wheel of death for both artists. On. Haunted canvas. Haunted canvas for two drink Alex. And Red Aaron, you have unabashed self advertising, or you can choose to take your last respin. Your I will respin. respin. Taking the respin, unabashed self-advertising, not making an appearance here. It is prehistoric clowns. Oh, hmm. okay. Kind of fits with what I'm drawing already. Oh, awesome. Okay. Two yeah. drink Alex has turned this into a ring situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we're going full ring cycle as this uh art fight bout will now take two entire evenings. Yeah. Um and then and- seven days he'll die. And thankfully, when we say ring cycle, we mean the Japanese horror franchise, which came to America and not those terrible security reducing cameras by the fine people on Amazon. Amazon, they technically own this platform. (laughs) Yeah, you know, when I said ring cycle, I was going more for like the the two evening Wagner performance. But, you know, we can go with Amazon. (laughs) You know, six of one, half dozen of another, right? (laughs) <laughs> and, and Ross, let me tell you, there is nothing that the kids on Twitch love more than Wagner. Than Wagner. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, tune in next week because we just all sit back and kick up our feet and listen to Wagner. Wagner it up. Three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this, your opening contest. We are seeing now with these final moments, these final topics, this is what separates the wheat from the chaff, folks. This is what separates the great art fighters from the decent art fighters. It is in these moments that history is made. We've seen artists pull together entire canvases in the last few moments. And right now we're seeing two drink Alex bounce around this entire canvas, adding additional details, haunting anything and everything he can. While over there on the right-hand side, I see a really creepy caveman clown. Yeah, I also see a a spooky Muttley uh, skeleton down the middle. Yeah, yeah, fine work um, there by Two Drink Alex. Oh, and, yeah, and uh, Mothra uh, French Fry now also being turned into a prehistoric clown. Yeah, yeah, we're going we're going all over the place here as details are getting added akimbo all over this canvas uh, with two and a half minutes to go. 
uh, it's really hard to tell what's going on anymore. Uh, now, you know, to you, Marty, when yes. when that was just Mothra, did that look like uh, Mr. Poopy Butthole from Rick and Morty with wings? There, there was a, there was a, a, a serious uh, poop, Poopy Butthole essence in there. Um, you know, just just an, uh, an aperitif of Poopy Butthole. Uh, but mm. now that we like a Joanne's, <laughs> go ahead. Like a Yankee Candle fabric uh, level or Yankee Candle sense. fabric. Ross, are you having candle a stroke right now? Of, uh, Ooh. Uh, words uh, no worky. Uh, also, it kind of looks like a weird blue version of Bob Ross right now, if I'm totally honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, at this point, it's kind of, it's all kind of freaking me out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very also, weird. I'm pretty it's sure there's strange. a, what is, uh, man, is, is the cloud on the right hand side hanging himself? Is that what's going on? Nope. <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs> So that was from when it was still gritty Hanna Barbera. <laughs> oh yeah, noted gritty, gritty Hanna Barbera cartoons with clowns that hang themselves. Man, yeah, Scoob took the franchise in a dark direction. Death by misadventure for that clown. All right, <laughs> not not what I expected here. With about a minute remaining, folks, get ready to vote and vote often as only one artist can make it to the main event. Will two drink Alex continue his winning ways here on the never ending off season? Or will red Aaron add another title shot and possible title to her long lineage. We will find out in just a few moments, the powers in your hands as a part of the never ending off season, continuing on here on Twitch. Ross, this has been an incredible right, 30 seconds contest. to go. Yeah, an epic match, Marty. Uh, really setting a high bar. And remember once again that the winner of this match is going to go on to the Pixel Weight Championship later on in the show. Uh, cannot wait to see who this is going to turn out to be. Um, yes, indeed. Oh, is that a, is that a haunted seconds. Fred Flintstone there in the middle of the canvas? Also being turned into a cloud before it can even get finished drawing. Boo yeah, now it just rubble, looks, it says. Now it just looks like Krusty the Clown at this point, and <laughs> that's time. Caps on markers. That what is a show. Fight. Hell of an opening contest here, and now we throw it to you, fine folks watching at home. Vote now via the the poll appearing on the website or uh, in your Twitch app, uh, whichever you prefer. But vote early, vote often. We're going to give you about a, uh, a two-minute period to do so. Uh, and, yeah, just really uh, an incredible match here. Uh, I want to check in it with each of our artists to see how they felt about this match. To drink, Alex, what did you think of this contest here this evening? Ooh, boy, that was a doozy and a half. But uh, I had a whole lot of fun doing it. And dare I say, uh, it gave me a little bit of a buzz. <laughs> all right well we'll see if that buzz means you get to continue on here tonight perhaps it's a buzz of a possible title on the other side though that was red aaron red aaron how did you feel about this opening round was there were there any topics that gave you trouble or are you feeling pretty good um no i think i'm feeling pretty good i really really like the melding of john waters and Edgar Allan Poe. i think that's like really fun uh now that i can take a little breather i'm gonna open my drink and Arnold Palmer. Okay, the way that you said Arnold Palmer just now makes me wonder, did you drink before the show, Aaron? No, but I had two popsicles. Oh, you are just living wow. on the Wow. 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 Really? Rob, is that is that a really big Arizona iced tea? Oh, wow. Well, uh, with about a minute and a half to go, let's take a look at some of the highlights on the canvas on the lower left. What started is John Waters turned into Space Ghost and then turned into a spooky skeleton. Uh, we also had what started as, well, I don't even remember what the thing in blue on the left started as, but it got turned in. Oh, sorry. It started as a pink flamingo and now, well, who the hell knows what it is? It, I, I think that was some of the flip turn and reversing from the gritty Hanna-Barbera. Uh, Moltar got a very nice Afro wig because he got turned into a prehistoric clown. Uh, I was going to say John Travolta got turned into a clown, but he's been one for, eh, let's call it 20 years. Uh, Muttley mm -hmm. got a nice set of ribs there in the lower right. The Telltale Heart still saying 
Oh, sorry. Started as O, but uh, started as Yo, but now it says O, complete with an Orioles O. And that yeah. littlest kaiju still pretty well presented there in the lower right. Yeah, you know, he's really doing his best, which I think we all are. Tremendous. Really awesome opening contest. This is the type of action you're going to see here on Super Art Fight tonight. And uh, producer Steve, uh, let me know in my ear how much time. Okay, last few seconds just to go. All right, folks, the power is yours. We will find out who the victor of this opening contest is in just a moment. They will continue on into the main event. All right, folks. All right, let's throw it to the decision. Your winner of bout number one is... Red Aaron takes the victory. Red Aaron oh. taking home the victory. Wow. Red Aaron... <laughs> going to throw down with Baron Von Sexy Volt for the Pixel Wing Championship. Red Aaron, anything you'd like to say to Baron Von Sexy Volt before the bout later this evening? Oh, just that I'm so, so honored. Thanks, everybody. I'm looking very much forward to being around Baron Von Sexy Volt, no matter how uncomfortable it is. I don't know when you transcended from being Russian to Midwest mom, but I'm appreciating it. Uh, <laughs> on the flip side of that to drink alex a heck of about here tonight we really appreciate you joining us uh just a, a, a quick question to you anything you would like to plug before we let you go here tonight yeah um if you like uh the stylings of my humor uh, uh written or otherwise please go to uh at dude exclamation on twitter um check out my simpsons shit post account at weeb simpsons also on twitter and you can listen to me every week on the one piece podcast uh a one piece podcast and toho yaro a japanese film club podcast where we watch a movie and then we talk about it so um check those out uh and uh i'm gonna go eat some pizgetti all right to drink alex thanks so much for joining us red aaron we'll see you later tonight and in turn we'll get your plugs then but uh heck of an opening contest here ross what did you think about it bud i mean i'm always amazed by all of the fantastic talent brought by our artists to see both of them come out there so strong and and to fill that canvas in 20 minutes and fill literally every square pixel of it uh pixels are square but you know, fill every every last uh, DPI of it, let's just say. Uh, it was really phenomenal to see in person uh, digitally. And, you know, really, how, I mean, what's better than this? You know, you, me, this show, and all of you lovely people watching it at home. All 88 of you. Hey, how's it going? Well, uh, I, I can go ahead and tell you one thing that's going to be better than that, and that is supporting the Autobar. Producer Steve if we could very quickly throw that graphic up on the screen once again. Again, if you want to support the Autobar, the links are in the Twitch panel below, but we've got them written up here if you just want to very quickly type them into a web browser. We have our limited edition, one run only, Super Art Fight X Autobar T, as designed by Super Art Fight champion Titanium. Uh, it's a really cool, incredible shirt. I can't wait to get my own. Uh, and hopefully you will be joining us in, in purchasing them. I, I believe I heard an updated number of $750 raised so far to the Autobar, which I'm sure has actually gone Heck up yeah. since. But if you want to donate directly to the Autobar, we have that link as well, bit.ly slash support Autobar. You can buy all the classic Autobar merch you know and love and also donate directly to the staff in $5 and $10 increments if the idea of buying a shirt or buying swag isn't necessarily what you're looking to do. It's really exciting. It's really cool. And we are so excited to have our show get to... Uh, support a venue that's supported us for as long as it has ross if you can believe it june 1st marks 12 years of us doing super art fight i can't decide if that is amazing or a little depressing a little of both maybe but uh Why so so many faces melted at the auto bar um dozens of shows there and each one a joy to be had by us by our fans and now by all of you at home uh but really buy the shirt and then next time we can all be at the auto bar, meet us there, wear the shirt. Yes. Uh, and then, you know, come hang out, get high fives from everybody that works there and every single one of us. Free high per fives to all wearing that shirt. 
Well, provided high fives are okay by that point. Yeah, providing high fives are, are, are socially acceptable at that point. All right, folks, we are ready to roll on into bout number two. So let's uh, go ahead and pop us back up into the center there. There we go. All right. This is a special exhibition bout. No uh, stakes for the Pixel Weight Championship here, but it will it will count towards the overall records, which if you uh, have a keen eye on superartfight.com, we are now tracking in our announcements for each show. That will excuse me, come into play as the never-ending off-season continues on. Anyway, it's a very exciting bout. We had in our last show one artist debut, and in this bout, we're going to have another artist debut. It's very exciting. I can't wait to bring everyone together here. So let's bring it to the digital stage first. She is one half of the Super Art Fight Tag Team Champions. She is Super Art Fight's resident nature goddess, Twitch, if you please, put your hands together and show some love to Wisteria. Hi, Marty. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you so much. And thank you again for joining us. You had your Art Fight Neo debut last weekend, and you're already back in the hot seat live on Twitch. How are you feeling about tonight's matchup? I'm feeling super good, especially because I get to meet a new friend. <laughs> well... He is new to Neo, but he isn't necessarily new to you, nor do I know that you would entirely call him a friend. Uh, you and Stevie Speed uh, have been on opposite sides of quite the tag team feud the end of last year into the beginning of this year, uh, battling for the Super Art Fight tag titles. Uh, oh, with that in mind, yeah. You're right. Well, we're, I know we're friends. I don't know what you're talking about. We're best friends. Okay. Best. Well... well let me tell you, there's nothing that promises a great art fight than two friends. Anyway, rolling on, on to the other competitor here tonight, making his Super Art Fight Neo debut. As you've seen, Super Art Fight is filled with, well, drunks, communists, nature goddess. So what the hell? Let's have a race car driver. Ladies and gentlemen, sponsored by Super Cola, this is Stevie Speed. Um. <sighs> show number four marty four the fourth show yes the fourth one yeah that's when fourth. you want me on this you know what my sponsor pays me to be on these shows a lot of money and they are not happy that i'm not on the fourth show yeah, yeah that's not first that's not second that's sure third you know what's important not fourth marty not fair. fourth fair oh Anyway, happy to be here. Really happy to support my sponsors. Uh, really looking forward to a great match tonight. Um, I'm just so stoked to be able to show all these fans what I can do, both here on the canvas, on the track, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm really happy to fight uh, this weird hippie and just have a great match out there. Marty. Hey, look, I, you're yelling at me like I'm the matchmaker here. You and I both know that's not true. Come on. And it's not like that there were other possible reasons why you couldn't be on screen during the first few shows. Anyway. Right. I'm just sitting here at home, talking to my cat. It's very sad, waiting to be on Super Art Fight Neo. How have you not been involved in e-racing? How, uh, that, so I understand that's where your entire yeah, industry is. very was. much your speed. e -ra you can, you can do that? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you vroom vroom digitally. Kind of like how you're gonna draw draw digitally. Okay, I gotta make some calls after this show. All right, on that note, folks, let's go ahead and roll on into bout number two. Let's take a look at that canvas. God, I love production values. Anyway, continuing our battles for Baltimore, Stevie Speed drawing in green. You, sir, your starting topic will be the Ravens. And then Wisteria on the right-hand side, you're drawing in purple. You got demos to Orioles. All right, Ravens v. Orioles. Let's be honest, if we're just talking about the teams themselves, it's a one-sided ass-kicking contest. Anyway, 20 minutes on the clock. Of course, it's scheduled for one fall. Ross, are you ready? One fall. Yes, I am ready. Artists, are you ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Audience, throw some emotes if you're ready. Here we go. Three. Two, one, art fight. 
20 minutes on the clock, dear Ralsifer. And we've got... That's right, Marty. We've got on the left-hand side, Stevie Stevimus Speed drawing in green. And on the right-hand side, uh, the lovely Wisteria working in purple. Uh, and again, Orioles on the right and Ravens on the left. Two, I... well, one and a half beloved teams for our own <laughs> beloved Baltimore. Yes, yes. I will say it's a little funny to me that the artist drawing in purple has the Orioles. Not really, not really the way I would have seen that going. But hey, that's where we landed, folks. That's where we landed. And uh, over on the right-hand side, we are, of course, seeing star Ravens player number 64. You know number 64, right, Ross? Yeah, yeah. From the Nintendos? No, 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 no. Not, not at all. He's a uh, no, I do not. He's a punt kicker, linebacker, quarterback. Punt, 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 backer, kicker. Guy. Yeah. Um. Yes. He's a. He's yeah. He's he's a Nickelback, and he plays the sports ball good. You can see him over there on the left hand oh, side. He's in the band Nickelback. That's yep. amazing. And that's how you remind me that on the right hand side we've got the Oriole Bird, and I've never seen the Oriole Bird this sassy before. Like that is a sassy, yeah, that is sassy a, Oriole bird. That is a sassy bird. Uh, uh, possibly, you know, possibly. I'm not sure what it's doing actually. So far, it just appears to be calling its shot. Yes. Uh, and maybe firing a Hadouken. Really it hard. Possibly to say at this has point. its arms on backwards. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Unclear. Oh, oh! Uh, I'm not, literally oh, throwing, throwing a bat. bat. And yes, folks, that's a bat. Twitch. TOS, folks. That's a baseball bat being drawn over there. Tossed on the left-hand side. Yes. The first offensive Yes, it's an original coming... bat-related character. Please do not sue us for copyright infringement. Yes, it's a bat being drawn from the pen of Wisteria. Wisteria getting all up in that raven playing raven over there on the left-hand side. At least I assume that's what it is. It actually kind of reminds me, Ross, yeah. this might be a gag just for you. Reminds me of uh -huh. beloved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Turtle B-tier character Ace Duck. Ace Duck! Yeah. yeah! Wow! Yeah. Okay, I had that action figure. Yeah, yeah, with the big wingspan and the, the tiny little legs. Yeah, that's that's what I'm seeing over there on the left-hand side. Yeah, he was cool. I, I remember nothing about him except the action figure. Yeah, that's all I but, got, too. Uh, yeah, I, I as a kid, and he, I thought he and Howard the Duck were the exact same thing. Um, and also somehow maybe related to Bucky O'Hare. I really wasn't sure at the time. Um, but, you know, they are all great. Who can say? Who can say? And now, uh, down on the lower left-hand side of the canvas, uh, we've got a full bald version of Cal Ripken being drawn. Yeah, but uh, also we've got... Is that what that is? Um, yes. But... You can tell because he's saying, uh, we Cal also Ripken's, have... he's saying Cal Ripken's notable catchphrase, I played a lot of games. Yep, yep. That was from his acceptance speech into uh, the Baltimore um, game famous people yes. land. And yes. uh, also, let's not jump over the fact that this Ravens player uh, with its robotic chicken tiny legs uh, is also uh, shooting a uh, football out of its cloaca. So that's fun. <laughs> Got to say cloaca. Well done. Yeah, not often that comes up, and yeah. you did just catch me Googling the phrase, so thank you for that. Uh, the joy of being at home. I can Google yeah. phrases before saying them. Uh, breaking news for, um, for longtime viewers of Super Art Fight Neo, uh, who uh, are aware of this ongoing drama in my life, folks. Uh, I've been informed <laughs> that not, not only is beloved Super Art Fight mother-in-law Donna watching to see Baron Von Sexyful in the main event tonight, Joining her for the first time is my father-in-law. Oh, nice! So now I have no secrets whatsoever. Uh, great. So, so what would you like to, to not tell them right now? <laughs> what I do want to talk about is we are getting some of that weird-ass Heinz purple ketchup. Oh, wait, no, it's not ketchup; it's mustard being drawn yeah, up there in the mustard. top left, and we're going to be spinning the wheel of death in just about fifteen seconds, folks. Yeah, so we've got a chicken sandwich over there on the left-hand side, <laughs> uh, I assume. 
Yes. Uh, it is on a bun. So is it still a sandwich? I assume it's a sandwich. Well, we've got two brand new inside. topics coming in. So let's spin that wheel of death. Here we go. Let's throw those emotes out. Stevie Speed getting clothes that are way too small. Go ahead and take the respin. Respin for T for Stevie Speed. Wisteria gets catfight. I'm also taking a respin. Respins out on the first topic, Ross. So uh, cartoon that's right. dating uh, profiles going to Stevie Speed and Hammer Time Shark going to Wisteria. Ross, I have one thing to say, and that is, uh-oh, uh-oh, here come the hammer. That's right. And already uh, we're getting our cartoon dating profile as uh, Stevie Speed is turning his opponent's initial character into their dating profile. Uh, apparently under the username Dead Idiot 67 <laughs> Oh no, just is 67. Yes, I, I see. and male. And male. Uh, also, it looks like while dying, he's saying the phrase season canceled frowny face. Yeah, well, that's that's a real bummer. Also, it, it, it is a photo of, of Oriole getting hit by football. Yeah. So that's going to be a fun, fun profile image for everyone on J-Date. Yes, yes. Very, very good. So the Raven got turned into a sandwich on the left-hand side. Now the Oriole on the right-hand side, A, murdered, B, still on Tinder. And we are getting just a happy hammer time shark right there in the center of the canvas. I gotta be honest, Wisteria. I don't know if it counts as hammer pants if uh, it's just one baggy leg. That's fair. I was you going to say that- that he can't wear one baggy hammer pant? Don't do this to I... him, look at him. <laughs> yeah, look at how happy he is. Also- I want to have a I, good day. I, hammer pants. I, 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 it, no, it's just like why, why, why doesn't like each side of the fin stick out? Why, why is it? Is he just kind of wearing it like a low baggy tube top situation? This precisely <laughs> is why him. MC Hammer went bankrupt. Too many sharks were buying the single pant leg, not the double pant leg. And that would make him like. This is like that. He's on a siren. <laughs> They have a connected thing. This is like that question about how would a horse wear pants? Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like that, but with hammer pants, basically, yes. and a shark. Yes, yes. Uh, and it looks like uh, Stevie Speed now just drawing a bro. Stevie Speed, any more details you want to tell us about said bro? Well, Marty, if you've ever perused Tinder or OkCupid or anything of that ilk. Can't say uh, I have. Well, you'll know uh, in popular culture that every... Uh, let's say eight out of 10 men on Tinder have a picture of them holding a fish. Oh, did not know that. Lesson learned. Yeah. All right. I learned something today and yeah. that's fun. Uh, meanwhile, over there on the left-hand side, it appears there's a giant shark coming for that Raven. Uh, I guess Raven sandwich at this point. Mm, uh, done sandwich. up Chicago style, which, you know, respect. <laughs> you see the, the weird tiny little, uh, uh, peppers on there i guess yeah i assume that's what the baseball bat is now <laughs> yeah yeah it started as a baseball bat now it's a weird tiny chicago pepper oh and it looks like yeah. the uh the fish down in the lower left the shark down in the lower left is asking asl and uh also breaking oh also drops. dating yes oh, breaking from news. the pen of stevie speed yeah what's our what's our breaking news mardo uh oh well <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know if you had just received the same note I did. We have a new total for uh, how much has been raised on Super Art Fight t-shirts alone. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm also getting that information, and I've always wanted to hold one ear of a microphone while while relaying information. And uh, uh, thank you for the chance to do that. Um, it appears that we've now raised even more money. Marty, hit him with the number. We are up to $900 in money going to the auto bar folks that does not include because we don't have the visibility to it of any donations or purchases made on the auto bar site that's strictly through sales of the super art fight auto bar shirt nine hundred dollars raised already thank you so much this is so cool just think about how many torsos we have helped cover by by helping to support the auto bar it's really phenomenal uh we are 30 seconds away from the next spinning of the wheel of death uh, about halfway through the bout here um, as, as uh, both our artists really leaving room in the middle available for the second half of the bout. Uh, also, we've got Stevie Speed over at the bottom left 
turning what started as a shark into a dating shark. Yes, yes, uh, he's got saying, his uh, pickup artist for shark. Yeah, so that's not going to go well for him. And two um, brand new topics oh, yeah, now we're coming spinning in. That wheel. Let's see what we've got. Teacup animals for Stevie Speed, while Wisteria is going to get away with the perfect crime. Or is she? Yes, we'll find out in just a few moments. And I think now is also a great time because we missed it in that halfway mark. It's a great time to check in with Ref Adam. Adam, you've been in the chat all about long. How are things going in there, bud? Oh, man, just like I said before, it it warms my heart to see this chat just littered with emotes. The, the wheels of death just overtaking all the words. I don't want to see what you have to say. I don't want to read it. I want to see it. I want to see the emotes. Uh, speaking of which, actually, we uh, we just hit our 200th follower. So oh, wow. thank you so much. There's an amazing number for how, how short of a time we have been doing this. But uh, I mean, I've seen a bunch of stuff in the chat so far. We have we have a lot of super cola love, actually. We have people saying that it, it gives them the boost they need to conquer the day. And another another user saying that uh, super cola makes uh, makes their, their sprinkles sparkle. I, I don't know if we have some uh, super cola bots in the channel just throwing up uh, whatever they need to throw up to try and get some more resale, but you know, I mean, it is what it is here on Twitch. We can't catch everything. So, uh, but we have also have court jester asking the real question. When are parachute pants coming back? Look right now we're all at home. No one can see what we've got on below the waist. Parachute pants should be brought back immediately. Ross, how do you feel about that? Oh yeah. I mean, I believe in parachute pants to start the day, Marty. Like, I change out of my sleep parachute pants and into my work parachute pants on a daily basis. Then at the end of the day, when I'm ready to lounge out, I change into those lounge parachute pants. I've got three pairs a day going, but because I'm changing constantly throughout the day, very low total wear time. And I only wash them about once every three months. So I haven't had to wash yet in quarantine. It's been pretty phenomenal. Also uh, going commando in there because why I leave the house. Uh, Marty, how about you in the parachute pants? Uh, well, after hearing that, that was not what I would call a glowing recommendation. So I'm just going to ignore everything and say, let's go back to the canvas. The perfect crime coming in as a bunch of ninjas have made their way onto the- Marty, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, if they are per- Never mind. Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll save that for later. Bunch of ninjas have made their way onto the canvas, and it looks like one of our teacup animals is a cat that's been just thrown into a teacup. Cats do tend to take the form of the containers they're in. You can ask me, I have two. What a shout out, Riley. Shout out, Oliver. Uh, they just take the shape of what they've been poured into. I guess this one was tossed into a teacup. Yeah, now why why is is uh the oh the billionaire class up top uh from Stevie Speed stealing Stevie Speed, a man sponsored by a soda company. Yeah, but apparently you know, secretly woke uh, and and <laughs> taking it where to the taking it to the paint on that one. Uh, so down below, <laughs> uh, I I love that that squ square cat thing. It's like it's like Minecraft and a cute kitty had a baby. Yeah, I think you just described a way to print money, and it looks like it is actually being taken out by one of. Uh, the the cats there, or I'm sorry, one of the ninjas is is taking out one of the the, the little cat down there. Also, is it taking it out, or is it just drawing a mustache on it? It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> that, that's a great point. Also, up in the top left, it's been made clear from the pen of Stevie Speed that mustard makes for the worst tea. I've never had mustard yeah. tea, Ross. I, I, I that does sound like something to throw out on Bon Appetit, though. Shout out, Claire. It, it does, you know, if uh, if Bon Appetit told me to give it a shot, I might. Uh, but otherwise, I'm not going to in the meantime. Uh, and we're just getting thieves all over the canvas, Marty. It's like yeah. everywhere we look, there's another ninja somewhere, somehow. It may oh, be another per person oh. subbing us. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, it may be the perfect crime, Ross, but it is a rather noticeable crime if nothing else with 20 seconds until that last spin of the wheel of death 
Yeah, that's right, Marty. It is a noticeable crime, but if uh, 2020 has taught me anything, that seeing a crime happen does not stop it from being persecuted in any way, shape, or form. All right, and let's go to the Wheel of Death. Let's throw all those emotes out, folks. Two brand new topics. Stevie Speed Wisteria. Both of them don't get to toss away topics. Stevie Speed gets old-timey cartoons, and Wisteria throwing it to our main event basically gets to draw a dummy thick sexy full for those of you wondering what dummy thick means i'm going to say most of you specifically if you're my in-laws don't google that oh oh no please google that and let us know how it goes um if you could please uh, text text your daughter about it um (laughs) so meanwhile here on the canvas um I would like to point out, Marty, that old-timey cartoons, now, technically speaking, it is 2020. An old-timey cartoon could be just everything we grew up on at this point. Yes, yes. Literally everything we we grew up on, what count is that? Your, your Transformers, your Thundercats, your, your Hemans, uh, they, they would all count as this. Uh, also, even uh, Looney Tunes. Uh, which Looney I recognize Tunes is ancient. At this yeah, point. it was. It was. It was old. Tiny Toon Adventures is old timey. Animaniacs just on that cusp, I think. Uh, so pretty much anything can happen, and, and we're seeing basically the the artistic styles collide. Dummy thick, sexy, full coming in on the center. Green arms attached by Stevie Speed to kind of turn him into uh, yeah, if you with will, gloves hands sexy because full. it's old timey. Yes, yes, they all had glove hands. It was easier to draw. Three minutes, 26 seconds remaining as by one of the ninjas, we've got a heck of a badunkadunk coming in. See that there, Ross? That's right, that is a dummy thick booty and dummy thick calves. Yeah. Uh, It's not often that you see calves that can can just have their own gravitational pull like that. Uh, That looks like a man that can can jump a straight eight feet vertically. And now over on the far right, what started as the Oriole bird got turned into, well, a dead Oriole bird is now being turned into Baron Von Sexyful. It's a very Baron Von Sexyful heavy canvas over here uh, on the right side and in the center. Uh, and, and I'm sure our main event is going to be filled with Sexyful, whether we like it or not. You know, it's... I, I guess that's sexy full. I mean, I'm just getting a lot of spiky hair and a lot of spiky chins. It's really just going like how I used to draw anime characters in the seventh grade. <laughs> Ross, if you, or if she's watching, Ross mom, if you happen to have any of these illustrations saved, please, please send them to superartfight at gmail.com. That is our legit email. I would. I will find a way to get them into the next show. I would like to point out that uh, my mom uh, has texted me during the show. She's enjoying the show, um, and she also donated to the Auto Bar. So thanks, Aww. Mom, for donating to the Auto Bar. And if my mom can donate to the Auto Bar, so can you. Yes. Uh, as we've got less than two minutes remaining, as we are literally just battling out Go O's being turned into an old timey mouse. This is this is getting ridiculous, folks. Yes, yeah, some sort of old-timey mouse of unknown origin uh, that, you know, has nothing to do with any sort of trademark character in any way, shape, or form. As uh, as yeah. Stevie Speed now just writes across the canvas, sue us, Disney, I dare you. I don't know that that's a smart move. What type of money is Since Super Cola giving him? Since when did Stevie Speed turn on his sponsors? He's turned on the billionaire class. He's turned on Super Color. He's turned on Disney. TM. Thanks for the TM. Real big there, Wisteria. I appreciate that. TM's all over Less the campus. Less than a minute now. remaining. The entire campus is trademarked. Less than a minute to go. One minute to go? I have no. There's nowhere left. What are we going to. Where are they going to draw? <laughs> when did you turn into Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> What's the deal with this canvas? The whole thing's trademarked. 23 hours to live. 30 uh, man, Marty, I can't even tell what's remaining. happening. Oh my gosh, folks. This one's going to be, this could be a tough, tough decision. Can Wisteria continue her winning ways or will Stevie Speed in his Super Art Fight Neo debut 
get his hand raised digitally in victory. We're going to throw it to you. 10 seconds remaining in this bout. Bout two of three. For this very you know, this special... canvas really is a tribute to the auto bar because it looks like the auto bar bathroom right now. <laughs> it really does. And time is up. Caps on markers. That is a super art fight. Excellent work by both competitors. Three minutes to vote, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes to vote. Will it be Stevie Speed? Will it be Wisteria? Let's check in with the artists and see how they felt it went. Ross, take it away. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, caught me while I, was, while I was looking at a text from my mom. Uh, Marty, what do you need me to do? Uh, well, I, I was going to ask you to ask the artists how they felt the bout went. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. Oh, whew. Not used to being at home. Too many things going on at once. Live uh, entertainment. Stevie everybody. Speed. Stevie Speed. What do yes. you think of that match? Uh, you know, it's good to be here. Good to be back. I just want to thank my sponsors, my team for getting me back on the canvas. Uh, and we're prepared to financially take the burden of anything that's happened here. Uh, I'm not laying any blame on anybody in particular, but I do believe Wisteria was especially, uh, you know, copyright liable in this match. Uh, there's no proof otherwise, but otherwise, I'm just glad to have my team, my sponsors uh, supporting me in this endeavor. And uh, thank you guys for having me, you rat bastards. All right. Thank you so much, Stevie Speed. Uh, a conflicted message there. Wisteria, do you, do you have a rebuttal or just how where are you? Hi, I'm at my house, but I, uh, I'm i going to say, yeah, you know what? I think there was a couple of things that I needed to make sure the copyright, TMTM copyright was all over the place. But, but otherwise, I think this was a super duper fun match and I had a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to do it again. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Wisteria. Th thank you, Stevie Speed. We've got a minute left in voting, just about a minute. And uh, I, I've been informed that Ross has lost audio, so that's going to make things fun. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll, we'll see if Ross can get his audio back. Until then, it's a solo Marty show, which, um, depending on how you feel about things, is either good or bad. Uh, just an incredible canvas. It went absolutely insane in terms of the, the illustrations, how it got laid out. I mean, uh this was just ridiculous. Ross, are you back with me, friend? I sure am, Marty. Awesome. Welcome you back. You can't keep me away. Well, God knows we've tried. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm sure we've got just a, a few moments left uh, in voting. Remember, Stevie Speed, Wisteria, the power is yours, dear Twitch audience, to pick our victor. Uh, less than 20 seconds to go. Uh, again, thank you all for joining us here tonight as this is about two of three of this special evening to support the Auto Bar. Uh, we really thank you all for the support. We really thank you for, for basically coming out and, and giving a bunch of love to our favorite venue. And uh, in what was a very, very close match, we are about to find out the victor here. Uh, Producer Steve, are we ready with the graphics? There we oh. go. Wisteria takes the victory. She goes to 2 and 0 oh in Super Art Fight Neo. Wow, Wisteria. our closest match so far uh with a score of 28 to 23, which really just tells me that half of you are watching and decided not to participate. Hey, that's okay. Uh, I hope you all vote in November. <laughs> wow. Wisteria, congratulations on the victory. How are you feeling about the victory now that you've got it really good and steve that was super close and it was like so much fun drawing with you today so thank you so much for such a great match tremendous tremendous well uh, i'm sure you're going to want to go ahead and keep an eye on that main event but before we let you go wisteria anything you'd like to plug um, yep, I like to post all of my illustration work on um, instagram at ready set create awesome Fantastic. Well, look for her there and look for Wisteria on future episodes of Super Art Fight's never ending off season. On the other side of the canvas, sadly losing his debut, Stevie Speed. How you doing, man? You know, Marty, it's a tough loss. I uh, hate it for my guys, but we'll be back strong next time. 
Uh, nothing really for me to plug here outside of my always ever present sponsor, Super Cola, but I do want to give a shout out to a real one. Uh, we lost a legend today, uh, this week in Baltimore, uh, Killer the Cat, Hamden's Finest, the mayor of Hamden. Uh, we all miss him very badly. Uh, if you want to check out the memorials to that cat, that lovely, beautiful cat, you can check out Killer Cat Baltimore on Instagram. We all miss him dearly. Uh, big ups to Killer. No disagreement here. That cat was a true legend. And uh, Stevie Speed, thank you for joining us this evening. We look forward to seeing you more. Although, you know, we're starting off with a no one one record. We'll see how things roll on in this never ending off season. And uh, we're going to be starting shortly with our main event of the evening. Before we do that, though, I want to check in once again with referee Adam. Adam, of course, has been in the chat all evening long, but he's also been keeping an eye on our subscriptions and, and what have you. Adam, what's going on with the subs, friend? Oh, man, we have gone out of control tonight. Uh, we had a frequentator come earlier on and, and give out uh, six tier two subs across the uh, across the chat, which was which was greatly appreciated. I know he's he's trying to uh, send that duck love uh, amongst the chat because the only way to get the duck emote is to have the tier two subscription. Uh, unfortunately, he currently isn't able to post himself, but uh, we'll fix that later. We'll DM me after the show. We'll, we'll, we'll get that taken care of. But uh, we we like I said earlier, we uh, surpassed 200 follows. So we are now at 203, which is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And we are now at 48 subscribers. So we that, that means that we get an additional emote. So uh, hopefully by maybe like two shows down the road after we get it approved, we'll get a, be able to throw up another emote in chat so you can spam to your heart's content. So uh, once again, I just want to throw out some some thank yous. So we have uh, we have Dimple Door, uh, Harumph, Snarly Bones, uh, P3N Myth, the the pajama squid that's that's amazing i love that uh frequentator again for the for the gifts amongst the uh, the chat um these are all the people that uh that subbed to us recently uh slash gallagher um and then i mean I, again with all the follows we received we got townhouse crackers bill carroll uh danny skyle f skater uh 95 black blur 14 scaredy cat somerset black the the pajama squid once again and uh, we got Dirty Palette, Snarly Bones, Mr. Short Pants, uh, I See Dan, and Dimple Door once again, uh, Topher12. Thank you all so, so much. Uh, we, we really, really appreciate the love uh, and, and getting, getting you know, our name out there and getting more people in the chat, getting more people to spam this. I, 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 I love it. I love to see it. I love seeing all of you in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say that enough. Marty, Ross, back to you guys. Uh, thanks so much, Adam. And uh, once again, we just want to mention, uh, head on over to our Etsy store, which you can go to our website and then click on merch. You can go to superartfight.etsy.com. That'll find it too. And you can check out this amazing auto bar t-shirt. It will be extremely comfy and soft artwork by our own amazing Ditanium, who really just knocked it out of the park. Uh, if you're a cat fan, if you're an Ottawa fan, if you're a Super Art Fight fan, if you're just a fan of t-shirts, then this is a real uh, no-brainer for you, really. And also, while you're on our Etsy page, you can find character work, uh, character supporting work for most of our artists, including uh, Baron Mount Sexyful, Two Drink Alex, Stevie Speed, uh, and many more that uh, you see in all of our Neo shows, this one and beyond. Uh, so go check all of that out at our Etsy store or follow that bit.ly link that is on your screen literally right now. Yeah, and back it, to you, Marty. It, it is also worth pointing out, Ross, that uh, these exact links are available in the Twitch panel. If you're on the website right beneath this video, right down here-ish, uh, you can actually see our panels and not only can you, excuse me, click directly onto the bit.ly sites uh, and support us, support the auto bar. You can also check out all of our social media. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You'll find out when we're going to be live next because uh, we've got two shows that we've been doing primarily here on Twitch. Every Thursday, we're doing Super Art Fantasy, which is a bunch of the Super Art Fight folks, including myself and Ross, uh, playing D&D &D as DM. Adventure! Uh, yeah, D&D &D is as 
uh, as DM'd by our own Princess of Darkness. And of course, every Saturday night, you got a show here, whether it's Neo or a casual Saturday. We're going to be back next Saturday night. And Ross, there's one more note you wanted to mention here. Yes, that's right. Uh, we're talking about all the supporting us. And while we love making sure that you have enough t-shirts to wear, uh, one more direct way to support us is by subscribing to us on Patreon. So check it out over at Patreon. The link is in our Twitch. Uh, otherwise, just search for Super Art Fight on Patreon, as you might imagine you do. Um, but on there, we're throwing up exclusive content. We're building up our, our uh, membership base. Uh, and it's basically giving us a tiny bit of money each month to help us keep doing what we're doing. Uh, we want to, uh, you know, increase our production values, increase the things we're able to do, uh, and hopefully, you know, get back to doing shows all over the place once again, uh, and maybe even buying a real pixel weight belt. So, you know, go check out our Patreon, support us there too, uh, if you can afford to, and, um, help us take this thing global. All right, Marty, let's do this show. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening, and it is to decide the first ever Super Art Fight Pixel Weight Champion. I'd like to bring to the, <laughs> I'd like to bring to the digital stage first. You saw her in the opening round defeat Two Drink Alex, and now she is looking to have her name written in the hallowed halls of history. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, give some love to Red Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, 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 are you in a living situation during quarantine where someone is constantly asleep by you, Aaron? I'm trying, are you to, trying to keep it down? My, yeah, what, my what's cat, happening? My cat is asleep by me. You're that trying is... to not wake up a kitty cat? Well, if I do, he's going to walk on the drawing surface, and we don't want that. <laughs> well, some of us might want that, but clearly you don't want that, but that's okay. This is a big opportunity. You could possibly be crowned the first ever Pixel Weight Champion. How does that make you feel, Aaron? Oh my gosh, I would be so happy, so excited. I'll have to find some way to wear the belt. Well, we're going to figure that out. Did we're going to we're going to figure that out. Yeah. Uh, but nevertheless, it might be in Photoshop. Yes. <laughs> nevertheless, you've got quite the challenge ahead of you as this man comes in 2 and 0 undefeated. If there is an icon in Super Art Fight, it is this man. He is our Hulk Hogan minus the racism. He is our The Rock. He is our Stone Cold Steve Austin. He is the man in Super Art Fight. And he's also the man with the tightest pants in Super Art Fight. Coming at coming at you live in quarantine, this is Baron Von Sexyful. Oh, hello there, Marty. How are you? Whew. Oh, I, 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 I'm sorry you caught me in the middle of me doing my lunges. Yes. Um, I don't know if you know about this, but quarantine booty is real and I cannot afford to have this thing go flat. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what you're saying and I'm very concerned about the texts I'm going to be getting shortly, but that's besides the point. Baron Von Sexyful, you are in the decision match for the Pixel Weight Championship. If you could, in as succinctly as way as possible, uh, what would the Pixel Weight Championship mean for you? Um... Well, uh, oh, sorry, just getting prepared here. Um, really, it's just one more belt for my accessory bin. Um, and um, as you know, I, I love a good accessory. And I will wear it with pride and make it a shameful object that no one else will ever want to touch. Not the first time you've done that. Certainly won't be the last. All no, right, folks. No. Let's roll on into this, our main event. Once again, 20 minutes on the clock, and this is scheduled for one fall. Producer Steve, throw up that canvas. Awesome. And apparently there's a siren going on somewhere. We'll see what that is. We continue our Baltimore battle with a battle none more Baltimore than this, folks. It's Bay versus Bohan. Baron Von Sexyful starting on the left-hand side in red with Old Bay. And then on the right-hand side, Red Aaron in the traditional Super Art Fight Black. 
is starting with Natty Bo. 20 minutes on the clock. Ross, are you ready? I'm ready. Artists, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, art fight. Oh, yeah. 20 minutes on the clock. The decision match for the Super Art Fight Pixel Way Championship. Old Bay versus Natty Bo. Two great tastes that typically taste great together. Tonight, though, Ross, they are locked in combat. How you feeling about it, Ross? Oh, man. I mean, my vote's, my vote's on the Natty Bo, but that's probably because I don't have my air conditioning turned on yet, and it's rather warm in here. <laughs> well, it, it is, uh, you know, the end of May. So, uh, understandably, you would be warm. Uh, and now we've got on the left-hand side, Old Bay starting with Baron Von Crabbeful. I'm sure he's full of that creepy, creepy mustard, no doubt. And then on the right-hand side, possibly the most adorable interpretation of the Natty Bow guy I've ever seen. Yeah, that looks like a young Natty Bow guy who's still trying to, like, make his way in the world and convince his uh, maybe like older compatriots to take him seriously. Uh, <laughs> but he's also ready to set sail for adventure or something uh, and maybe collect all the Pokemon. I don't exactly know, but he's <laughs> looking a little ashamed about it. Um, and and just like uh, he's full of spunk, really. I can finally see what the Utz girl saw in him all along. It, it's very, very clear. Yeah, I'm screenshotting this before it gets completely ruined by the by this match. So yeah, I I, I don't blame sure you. I have it in its current now, form. Now, what's interesting, Ross, is taking a look at this canvas. We've got two veteran art fighters. They're both coming out of the gate with very very strong illustrations. But what is particularly interesting is the aggressiveness of one Baron von Sexyful. He's not starting on the far left. He's coming into that center. He's making a point. He's staking his claim. That's right. He's putting on that pressure already. Now, it's always a question in art fight. How soon till the first attack? How soon until that first artist makes that first attack that really gets everything going? So what we're seeing here is both artists really taking the time to set up that initial drawing, give each other some room to play, uh, and, and, and make sure that that first thing can kind of hold the audience's attention, kind of anchor oh yeah, this is Baron Von Sexyville. This is Red Aaron. This is what they first drew. This is what the starting topics were at the beginning yes. of the match. And both artists making a real clear delineation, but now already, okay, here we go. As Baron going over on the right-hand side, putting something under uh, Daddy Bo, uh, which I believe just, just putting it all in a glass. No, uh, I, I, I think actually it's a steamer pot. pot, Ross. It's a steamer oh. pot as he's going to steam the Natty Bo guy on the right-hand side. By the way, I'd be remiss if I didn't say this for the like maybe half dozen of you who are going to catch the reference. Natty Bo guy in this version looks to me like Detective Conan got a glow up. That's pretty much what I'm piecing together over here on the right. And then in the center of the canvas, uh, we've got what started as the Baron pouring Old Bay all over his crabby self. And we've got uh, seagulls just pooping all over Baron Von Sexyful. So yeah, it appears so. Fun, fa yeah, fun fact. Fun yeah, fact. Red Aaron. Pelicans used to be a mascot for Natty Bo. I did not know that. <laughs> Learn amazing things here, folks. Pelicans, a past mascot for Natty Bo. So that's why the Natty Bo guy has the control over the pelicans that we are seeing here on the canvas. Leave it to Aaron to do her research before the show, <laughs> making yeah. sure to read that Wikipedia page. Yeah. Really making sure she's ready to go with all the info. Uh, we'll see how that plays in later in the match, I'm sure. Uh, as Pelicans and a Ninja Turtle now are attacking our crab over there in the middle of the canvas. Uh, so we've got Red Aaron drawing a Ninja Turtle that is thwacking, throttling uh, this poor Baron uh, upside the head with what appears to be kind of a... <laughs> oh, like, it's a Natty uh, oh, Bow Staff! A, a <laughs> double-sided... Natty Bowstaff. That's yes. right. A Natty Bowstaff in the hands of Donatello. Pun. Yes. Donatello, if you will. Uh, with less than 30 seconds to that all in Oh, and, first and spin. we've got Here Baron Krang. Krang drawing a Krang. Krang is a checking. I uh, went a little cranky there. Sorry. 
Uh, Craig attacking <laughs> Donatello from behind as he tries to use his bull staff. Yeah, 10 seconds to that first spin, Ross. 10 seconds to the first spin uh, as both artists now working right on top of each other. We've got Aaron throttling. Throw out those emotes. Uh, Here we go, folks. Two brand new topics, respins available for both artists. Baron Von Sexy Fool, you get ants. Uh, yeah. Ants. Ants. A-N-T-S. And then Red Aaron, you get defective Pikachu respins for either competitor. No. Okay, Red Aaron keeping defective Pikachu. Ants continuing on for Baron Von Sexyful. Something I've noticed that's pretty interesting is unless a topic gets kind of long in the tooth, Baron Von Sexyful, not the kind to typically throw away a topic from the wheel of death. He tends to stick with what he gets from the wheel, which undoubtedly has added to his love from the audience audience always loves when you stick whatever uh curveballs are thrown at you but i have to wonder especially going against a competitor as crafty and calculated as red aaron if he's going to find himself in a tough situation if he doesn't make those hard decisions because she is yeah, the that's... first person to throw a topic away that's right because you know baron von sexful is a guy who takes a topic and says you know how i can make that topic just a little bit better and then he draws it <laughs> and it's pretty amazing to see uh, as he goes through each match. Now, our defective Pikachu here, right in the middle of the canvas, is Red Aaron has turned what started as a crabby sexy full, or I dare say sexy full with crabs, uh, that has now been turned into a very defective Pikachu. Uh, yes, incredibly in defective. The the yeah. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds would not sit for this. And over on the right hand side, a bit of bow, a bit of, of Old Bay, a bit of Baltimore Hun on the right as. Our auntie's getting quite a hairdo over there on the right hand side. It is an yeah, that a, is an ant an aunt and an ant, Marty. Yes, an That's aunt, great. aunt, 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 something like that. Uh, now, <laughs> I'm not sure with what appendage it is holding up, poor old bay, but whatever. Let's well, go with it. Ross, sorum like a thorax, but an arm and sorum. Uh huh. Thorum. I, I was going to say, do you not know about how carpenter ants have one super jacked arm? Yeah, they do. They never stick yeah. arm day. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. The singular arm is always, always, always in use. And we've got what started as Krang. Like plumber ants. Yes. We've got what started as Krang on that left-hand side is now been turned into a defective Pikachu as well. And uh, we're about 12 and a half minutes in. So Ref Adam, want to check in with you, see what the chat's saying during this main event throwdown. Absolutely, we're get, we're getting a lot of love for our competitors in this chat here. We have we have a uh, crab star coming up saying this is an amazing already. Exactly we, what we should expect from a championship match, and I could not agree more. The amount of of, of Baltimore love and references in this canvas already is is astronomically high. I'm loving it. The chat is loving it. Please keep it up. Don't don't stop for anything. Please back to you. Thank you, Ref Adam. The passion is palpable as we've got uh, just under two minutes to the next spinning of the Wheel of Death. No respins used thus far in this main event contest as another defective Pikachu wanders into frame at the top as it's a... Yeah, this one appears to be wandering in from the sea. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a Cthulhu, if you will. <laughs> Pick Thulu? Sure I don't know. Is. I'm, I'm sure someone more well-versed uh, in, in the Cthulhu world has already made this mashup with the perfect phrasing. I'm, th this is what happens Aaron, when you try to make it work in the last few seconds of a, of a match here. Aaron, what did you do to Krang? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, just a really, really messed up Pikachu. It doesn't even have the right shapes anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought it was like part lemur or something. It got, <laughs> got a little confused there. Um, I guess yeah. anything can be described as a defective Pikachu if it just doesn't look that much like Pikachu. So in that yeah. case, it's most drawings of Pikachu. It, it, uh, also, I, I will say, very I, much, yeah, I, I will say, Ross, and I'm sure the chat can correct me on the actual name of which Pokemon this was. It's reminded me of that one Pokemon that was a water type that people kept calling Pika Blue. I know that's not its name, but I can't remember its exact name because, well, it's 9.30 at night on a Saturday and I'm trying to host a live show, so not everything's working the brain meets. Chat, you figure it out. Back to you, Ross. It's a Meryl. A Meryl? Thank you. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah. Thank you, all of all of you in the chat. Yes. Um, 
Now, I, I'd also like to point out that for this canvas, you know, in a lot of canvases, we've seen uh, chaos, you know, as every, everyone tries to get the artwork in. Uh, 10 seconds, thank you. Uh, but in this case, we've got almost a clear perspective. We've got a, we've got our bow in the foreground, we've got a middle ground, and we even have a background. Uh, we've and got we've like got, a full on artwork happening. We've got two more topics now coming in. Baron Von Sexyful gets summer camp shenanigans, whereas Red Aaron, both on the canvas and in real life, eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> I think that in spite of what you said about me before, Marty, I think I would like to take a respin. Taking that respin halfway <laughs> through the bout. I will as well. Respins oh, for everybody. Respins. Pineapple okay, no respins party for Baron for Von Sexyful. Pineapple party for Baron Von Sexyful. And Red Aaron, you get simply a pickup truck. All Just right. a pickup truck. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I gotta, yeah. I gotta tell you, it's a flat out lie that my eyebrows are on fleek. That is new. <laughs> Aaron, I mean, it's called the, it's called the magic argue. of television. <laughs> if we believe it, they believe it. Come on. <laughs> I'm, Nine minutes if, for me. You know, I don't want to Google it because I'm always scared to Google things that are Wheel of Death topics. But whenever there's something like Pineapple Party, like I'm always like, did did I miss a reference? Is that something I'm just not familiar with? Uh, is it going to be gross? Or is it just exactly what it sounds like? A party that has to do with pineapples. Marty, your thoughts? Uh, I think it's literally just a, pine, uh, a party of pineapples uh, and our pickup truck coming together on the lower right-hand side of the canvas. I, That's I do a sassy believe, pickup truck. Yeah, very sassy pickup truck. Shades of Lawrence the Cable Gentleman as seen in the Cars franchise. Very Tomator-esque over there on that right hand yeah that side. is a pickup truck that is in fact picking up a car hey hey now i think i've seen how this ends uh, some unfortunate mm -hmm. google searches have, have led to this with time and the pineapple party happening in the top right part of the canvas as that pineapple's doing a cake stand ross yes that is in fact quite the pineapple party uh that's that is you know that is one way to infuse a pineapple party how many i've never tried it that way Ross, for for the record, mm. with the fine people watching on Twitch and your mother watching at home, including how my many, mother, yes. How many cake stands have you done, Ross? Uh, one. That sounds about right. That that, that sounds yes. very one, accurate. One. Uh, it, it is. <laughs> my friends tried to pick me up to do a cake stand. They did not anticipate how heavy I, in fact, was. Uh, we didn't make it nearly that far. And then I got uh, um, the nickname of World's Densest Man, which uh, <laughs> had to do with my weight and wow. not uh, my aptitude. But, you know, really stuck yeah. around for a while. Well, I, I could say uh, I think we found our next T-shirt, which is simply World's Densest Man. Me, Keep an eye on our Etsy store for that. Uh, possibly. <laughs> I think you and I both of those just ended with you pile-driven on a concrete. Anyway... Uh, one minute, 54 <laughs> seconds until the final spinning of the Wheel of Death as another pickup truck makes their way onto the canvas on the left-hand side that looks That's like our Scott own. pickup truck. Yeah, it's picking it up, picking it up, picking it up, Ross. That's right. We have a <laughs> pickup truck sponsored by Vans over there on the left-hand side. Um, it is appears it to be a slip-on pickup. Ross, is it weird to you that, a van, that Vans is sponsoring a pickup truck and not the obvious vehicle? What? Uh, well, it is a slip-on, Marty, you know, <laughs> it, which is what fans are best known for, I would argue. Yeah. Uh, you know, if they if they'd gone for the for the old school, then maybe they would have gone for a full-on van. That's fair. Or maybe That's the, fair. The, the, the high top. One minute and no, change. No, there's a low top. Yes. One minute and change until the final spin of the Wheel of Death, not just for this match, but for the evening. Both competitors... Have no respins available. Whatever comes up on the that, wheel of death, they're gonna have to draw it, Ross. This is what separates the top tier talent in Super Art Fight. No matter what gets tossed at you, can you make it work? And in this match, this very important match here at Super Art Fight Neo, who will be able to have their hand raised and have that transparent ping become a part of their daily ensemble? Paste it in every Zoom meeting you're in. They become the first ever pixel weight champion. And I find out in just over five minutes, Ross. 
I cannot wait. And with no respins left, as we come up on our last wheel of death with 10 seconds for this last spinning, uh, now it's 10 seconds, uh, we will see what our artists get as they try to fill these last few pixels of canvas with topics. Oh, here we go. Baron Von Sexy Fool, he gets Action Chameleon. And Red Aaron, you get a Candyland before time. <laughs> a Candyland before time. Action Chameleon, Candyland before time. It looks like Red Aaron was trying to throw a Transformer in before the final spin of the Wheel of Death. As we've now got. Yeah, it work. looks like a Transformer smoking a pipe, which uh, I'm really <laughs> yeah. not sure why that's happening. It's just it's Wait. just a toothpick. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Right, because it has a mouth that also has food in it that also needs picking at. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. You, it's got a mouth seen... guard for a mouth. Do you not remember the extended cut of Michael Bay's Transformers where Optimus Prime just went to town on a six-foot party sub or as it appeared in his hand, just a regular size sub? <laughs> I just assume that we've got uh, Optimus Prime, he just takes off the mouth and you just see like tons of just scary tentacles in there like a chipper shredder. See, I thought you were going to say the, the face guard goes away and it's just filled with chunks of lettuce from all the sandwiches he's devoured. Or maybe it's just an extremely handsome gentleman. Like, yeah. Just a very just chiseled jaw. Hard to say. Speaking of handsome illustrations, down here in the right-hand side of the canvas, just below the pineapple party, we've got the action chameleon and he's been inserted directly into Die Hard. Come to the coast, have a blast. Oh! He's going to have to make balls with all of his weird little feet. <laughs> right there. As uh, I got to call out uh, Crabstar made this joke in the chat. Yes. If this match got any sec uh, sexier, it would be completely ignoring me. <laughs> wow. I'm wow. sorry. That's, I wasn't paying attention. He said, if this match got any sexier, it would be completely ignoring me. Yes, it's just like you two misses a joke, Ross. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, back on the canvas. Let's see our Candyland before time. Uh, where where did that come together? I'm seeing some illustrations over there on the right, right, Aaron. Uh, did I miss it, my friend? Um, So up here... <laughs> <laughs> where I wrote ancient oh, jujube. ancient jujube. <laughs> it's an ancient jujube because it was not a pineapple party. It was a, a jujube. <laughs> yeah. And over and over here, a black licorice dino with. Oh, that's the uh, worst type of dinosaur. <laughs> yep. No one likes. <laughs> yes, that but thing. they survive <laughs> a very long time because no one wants to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying was it was an evolutionary positive that it was yes. made entirely. Out of black For a liquor. long time, they were both good and plenty. <laughs> Two minutes remaining in this your main event, folks. We're going to throw it to you. You're going to be able to make the call. Who will be the first ever Super Art Fight Pixel Weight Champion? That title will be defended on future Super Art Fight Neo cards. So, of course, follow us here on Twitch. Keep an eye on SuperArtFight.com. Follow us on social media to find out who the first defense will be against, but in a few moments, we'll find out who that first champion ever will be. I still don't know why the Transformer was getting a toothpick. We still really never answered that question. <laughs> we may never get the opportunity to do so unless Red Aaron in the next minute and 20 seconds decides not to continue along her winning ways, but instead to placate you, Ross by God Nover. It was just, it was just picking. Picking, picking up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. He's picking it up. I got it. That's uh, how but, you win Ross right, over okay. in a second. Great. Make a scout reference. One minute to go mm -hmm. in this your main event. An incredible, incredible canvas as another action chameleon there in the lower left. Chamando. Chamando. Yeah. Rock, rock on. Yeah, he, he uh, informed the uh, fine uh, flight attendant that his friend was dead tired. God damn, I love 38 seconds to go. Only one will win. Baron Von Sexyful has held the Super Art Fight Championship multiple times, as has Red Aaron. But for both of these competitors, they continue on their solo championship ways, but only one can be the first. Who will it be? 20 seconds to go. 
Whoa, what just happened on the canvas? Sorry. <laughs> All right, Red Aaron screwing really things dark. up for everybody. 10 seconds to go. I thought Sapu was going to show up for a minute. Only one will win. Five seconds remaining. And with that, time's expired. Caps on markers. That's an art fight. That's an art fight. Hell of a match. Let's Woo. take a look at that canvas, everybody. You've got vans sponsoring pickup trucks on the left. You've got what appears to be some kind of flat muffin on the left. You've got Donatello with his natty bow stick. You've got Krang that got turned into a uh, uh, defective Pikachu. You've got a very last minute action chameleon as we have Terminator 2 Chameleon Day. A Cthulhu style Pikachu in the top left. They got turned into Baron Von Sexyful. A Baron Von Crab in the center covering himself in Old Bay and also being turned into a Pikachu while he's being put on by the former Natty Bo mascot. The Pelicans we got Die Hard with a chameleon right there uh, in the center of uh, the right beneath that. We've got a truck picking up another truck. We've got what started as a pineapple party, got turned into an ancient jujube, a black licorice dinosaur, and Aunt Ant looks like me over there on the far right of the canvas. And I think course, that's John Wick. You know what? It might have been John Wick. I don't know. The, the way that Baron Von Sexyful draws me, it's always with those teeth. And he and I need to have a conversation with that after the show. Uh, and then on the far right, the Natty Bow guy tossed into a boiler pot. Hell of a match. Red Aaron, second match of the night. How'd you feel about how it went? Oh my gosh, that was really, really great up until that last minute when they had all those technical difficulties. I apologize for that. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It happens. It happens. But I, yeah, I would I like to say... I think the shading went great. <laughs> the flat muffin is more of a... <laughs> uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup tar pit. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. See what you did there. Cool. <laughs> Keep that in uh, mind just while you the chat and zero more people voted because of that clarification. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and then... But there's still time to chat. Uh, vote in the chat. Uh, be sure to vote. Uh, we want to see as many of you guys voting as possible because this is your Pixel Weight Champion. Yeah. A lot is on the line here. A $10 gift card to uh, Chevy's is on the line uh, when combined with other orders of $60 or more. All right, and on the other side of that canvas was Baron Von Sexyful. Baron Von Sexyful, you come into this 2-0. and oh. How you feeling about this matchup? I'm feeling pretty good, Marty. I'm feeling like just sitting here continuing my stretches. I haven't had my, my host home provider here to get, bring me my slippers. He's asleep right now. So yeah, I'm yeah. We, we did hear about that last week. Uh, no foot photos, please. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I feel very good. Um, I had lots of fun making the Baltimore uh, references um, and the Die Hard. Oh, I love that. Best Christmas movie ever. Uh, 10 seconds left on the voting. Oh! Yeah, and some someone very much argue you passionately about the, uh, the Christmas movie point. Me, at this point, I don't care. I'm just tired of people thinking that uh, liking Die Hard as a Christmas movie counts as a personality. Anyway, <laughs> ladies... Enough. Ladies and gentlemen, only one can be your pixel weight champion. Let us find out now who it is. <laughs> Red, Red Aaron, Aaron taking home the victory. Oh my gosh. 2-0 and oh here tonight. That puts her 3-0 and oh overall. What an what incredible an win. I, I, I don't know that anyone foresaw this happening. Red Aaron... How are you feeling? You are the first ever Super R Fight Pixel Weight Champion. <laughs> wow, this really uh, shows how much redder my face is than my hand. Let's stop doing that. <laughs> That's why we call you Red Aaron, I believe. Yes. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Well, thanks so much for looking past that accidental shading in Glitch. It's I'm okay. so excited! <laughs> yeah, well, you, you are the first ever Pixel Way champion. Now everyone at Super Art Fight, especially during this never-ending offseason, is going to be gunning for you. Is there anything you'd like to say to all the other artists out there in the Super Art Fight roster that might be coming for you now? Oh, gosh. Um, just that no matter what happens, we'll all still be friends. And um, I look forward to trying to make it as hard as possible. 
tremendous. Congratulations, Red Aaron. Before we let you go, any plugs you would like to make here tonight? Uh, yes, I would like to plug twitch.tv slash super art fight, which is where you can find my art. Aaron, that's literally the page you're on right now. Yes. Okay. Bookmark it. Yes. Bookmarking still a thing in 2020. So great. Sure. Cool. Maybe, you know, subscribe and uh, all that kind of fun She's stuff. She's our too. first <laughs> champion and she doesn't even know how this works. I she has don't. no clue how this works. Uh, no clue I, at all. Oh, God. I oh think God. she could hear us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. This, this, is, this is why Ninja is always going to do better than us, Ross. I told you we should have rigged the match. <laughs> well, anyway, let's let's go to the other guy. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Baron Von hey. Sexy Fool. Mm. You... God, it's nice to be referred to as the other guy. Yes. <laughs> Not the first time you've been referred to as that? Nope. Or the last. He, nope. Are you wearing the thong version of a glove? Uh, a little bit. I like to show a little bit of finger cleavage. I, I would figure, if anything, that's a shout out to Baltimore resident Cisco. He of the thong song. Da. <laughs> Baron Von Sexy Fool, you've had your winning ways here during the never ending off season, but tonight it wasn't enough. You are not the first ever Pixelate champion. How are you feeling about the result of this matchup tonight? I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, like, I really wanted, like, a 64th belt, and now I have to just deal with 63. Um, it's it's hard. Um, it's tough, like, the leather on all my other 63 belts. But I think I'll learn how to live with it somehow. I have no doubt that you will, and I also have no doubt that we will see you in the not-too-distant future here during Super Art Fight's never-ending off-season. Uh, an incredible main event to top off what has been a really lovely card here on Twitch. Uh, a reminder again, uh, Steve, if you could throw up the graphic of the Autobar shirt. To support the Autobar directly, you can either A, pick up a Super Art Fight X Autobar T with all of the profits going directly to the Autobar and their staff. Uh, we're going to be sharing that with you. Uh, or, excuse me. We shared the link with you throughout the show. There's a link down beneath. Click through. Get yourself a shirt. It's a really dope shirt designed by our own Titanium. Or if you just want to support the Autobar directly, not get a shirt in exchange. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Bit.ly slash support Autobar that takes you to the Autobar store. You can not only buy their original t-shirts and posters and other cool stuff, but you can also donate directly to the staff on there. Um, before I forget, I was just reminded, hey, Baron, you still with us, bud? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Sorry, I'm a jerk. Do you have any plugs you want to <laughs> toss out? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, um, so as you all know, I'm, I'm, I'm here in this host home taking advantage of all of the amenities of this Mikey Bracco life, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, if you want to check out his work and support him so he can keep feeding me and buying me new plush slippers, check him out on uh, Etsy and on the Instagrams at Spaghetti Kiss. Spaghetti oh, Kiss. Kiss. Spaghetti Kiss. Yes. No doubt. All right, folks. Um, before we wrap this up, I, I, I just again really want to say, uh, it means the world to us that you joined us here this evening. It means the world to us how many of, of you have uh, ordered our shirt to support the auto bar. Um, like I said, I, I've been going to the auto bar since 2002. I've seen countless shows there. The uh, shocking majority of my 20s were spent there. Um, you know, whether it was Axe on the Way Up, bands like Ted Leo and the Pharmacist, the Appleseed cast, uh, uh, I'm blanking on others. Reggie and the Full Effect, Baltimore's own Y Oak, all these amazing bands I got to see live. I got to also see great live comedy uh, like Brian Posehn and Michael Ian Black and Chris Gethard. And uh, they also do such a great job of cultivating local acts. I, I've seen bands grow uh, grow up and, and, and just establish themselves because they were on shows with these bands at the Auto Bar. The Auto Bar is such a key element to, to the art scene in Baltimore that it, I shudder to think that because of the, the weight of the world that there may not be an auto bar at some point. 
Uh, they've been around for 20 years. They are a true institution. Without them, there literally would not be a super art fight as you know it today. They've supported us from day one in 2008. They continue to support us. We technically have a date on the books in Jan uh, July with them. Probably not going to happen, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, but we know that the minute we can, we look forward to rocking that stage once more. And through your incredible support all evening long, uh, you know, it just keeps adding on and adding on to that lifeline. So please, folks, if you haven't already, pick up a shirt, donate, send them some love, because it would mean the world to us because they've been our everything. Ross, do you want to add anything to that, sir? Yeah, I mean, I, I've I've been going to art fight shows uh, at the Auto Bar, at, at, been a part of art fight shows at the Auto Bar, um, and you know we've gotten to play with so many amazing bands. I mean, we've gotten to do shows with uh, Anamanaguchi, P. Lander Z, The Proto Men, Paul and Storm, uh, Carmela's Game. Um, uh, Shoot, so so uh, beefy, um, man! I can't even think of them all, and just it's been so cool to to have, you know, it's for a bunch of artists and comedians that we are to get a chance to play at a rock club. I mean, that is absolutely bonkers, and they supported us, and it is our absolute pleasure to return the favor and support them. Um, and you know, you can do that directly. You can do it through the uh, amazing T-shirt by our own Titanium, um, and you know, and just support uh, not just your the artists around you, but the venues around you if you can, because you know we all need a platform. You know, we all need a place to play, and for us, the Auto Bar has always been that. We're so happy to have um, provided them a bar tab for the evening, even though we're not able to do a show with them. So thank you all so much for coming to the show. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for all for listening to this bit at the end. Um, and we hope you buy the amazing t-shirt and then maybe support us too. Yes, indeed. And uh, just a reminder, that t-shirt is up for pre-order. Uh, basically, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, print to the number sold. Uh, the pre-order is going to be open between now and May 30th. That's next Saturday. So uh, if you weren't able to pick one up during the show, don't worry, we're not cutting it off immediately. But hey, pick up a shirt as soon as possible. That gives us the numbers. We're going to send them off to the printer. Uh, we are officially, as of right now, at $918 raised. That's just through we us. We can hit 1000 guys. Yeah, I, I have no doubt we can I hit 1000 uh, And And like I said, I don't know if that, that counts uh, what's been uh, posted to the Autobar site and, and, and that sort of thing. Nevertheless, we really appreciate you joining us. We really appreciate you having a fun time with us. We hope that this show was what you were looking for. In terms of plugs, if you want to see me on the internet, I don't know why you would, but I am uh, at Blast O Rama, Blast Zero Rama on the Twitters and the Instagrams. And you can find me online at Blast O Rama.com. That's my blog. Ross, where can people find you online? Uh, people. <laughs> That would could mean I, I posted online very much, which I do not. <laughs> but uh, you, you can go check out, uh, you know, 10 years worth of comics at systemcomic.com, www.systemcomic.com, uh, and see a whole lot of funny stuff. I, I've been posting some uh, infrequently as I try to uh, have some creative output outside of Art Fight, uh, outside of my job, outside of trying to keep things moving. Um and uh yeah please uh follow me in all those places too i guess but, awesome yeah. hey rep cool. adam do you want to throw in some plugs too uh just make sure to uh to, to go ahead and follow ring that bell subscribe to uh twitch.tv slash super art fight um and honestly if 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 you could do anything uh posting about the the shows um when we do all when we do our shows on saturdays and thursdays and whenever we're doing them um, to tell your friends to, to to really like just to get the word out there. The word of mouth is the best way to spread this kind of thing, and and to really get more people in the chat, and more people involved, and I, it's just it's just more fun that way. Honestly, it's it's we just we really appreciate all of you guys coming through, and uh, I would love to see more of you. I completely agree, Adam. All right, folks, we're probably gonna uh, we're probably gonna raid another stream at the end of this. So before that happens, I want to very quickly say. Uh, thank you to all of the artists. Thank you to all of our related partners, spouses, 
uh, significant others and etc. cetera, uh, housemates for allowing us to do this uh, every Saturday night. Uh, we will be back next Saturday with a Super Hard Fight Casual Saturday stream. So stick around for that next week. And uh, until next time, for everybody, my dear friend Ross Nover, for the incredible artist, for producer Steve, for referee Adam, this has been Super Art Fight. Get the hell off the internet. Bye. 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 See you later, everyone. <laughs>